Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am back with a new plan with me process video and I am still sharing spreads from the month of December. If you watched my chit chat video where I talked about how I happy memory plan, then you know that I am typically working a month behind. I finished my December spreads about the second or third week of January. It's just taken me a little time to get these process videos edited and voiceovered. So I am sharing the week of Christmas with you today. The week of Christmas was really busy as it is for most people. I was on vacation from work this week as well. So I had a lot of photos to document. It doesn't look like there's a lot of photos on here right now, but I do create a couple inserts to put into my planner for this week, just to make sure that I get all of the photos and all of the documentation done for the week of Christmas. Now I did not include any journaling on this spread because I am going to include it on one of the inserts. So I was really able to just play with the product and that is really what m makes me happy when I scrapbook. When I scrapbook 12 by 12 layouts, I don't really include a lot of meaningful journaling or a lot of detailed journaling because I just enjoy playing with the products. So I need to be careful with my happy memory, memory planner because this is a very slippery slope for me. I wanna make sure that I continue to document what's happening in the week and what we're doing and not just playing with the products. But it was fun to be able to mix it up a little bit this week. I'm using a lot of products from Pretty Little Studio. I th believe it's called Tinseltown. And then I also have a few Project Life cards from another collection from Pretty Little Studio. If I can find it, I will link to it in the description box below. They're these really pretty watercolor Project Life cards. And I'm just using my Happy Memory Planner punch to punch out that rectangular shape so I can add some pops of color across the spread. Now I'm also using some die cuts from a Bella Boulevard collection. I believe it's the Santa Stops Here die cut pack. When I purchased this, it came as a kit with an album that you could stand on a shelf. And I was planning on using it as my December daily album that year, but I never ended up using it. So I thought it would be fun to incorporate these die cuts in on this spread because the colors match the Pretty Little Studio products that I'm using really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and start going through the different photos and the different things that happened on each day. Let me know in the comments below if you like to hear the story behind the photos so you get an idea of what type of things I document in my Happy Memory Planner or if you're more interested in the process of what I'm doing. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory on what I'm doing, what I'm adhering down, and the different types of embellishments I'm using. But if you're more interested in that part of the process, please let me know. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with Monday. I only have one photo in that column, and it is a photo of my living room. And you can see my son sitting on the couch across from me. It was his first day of Christmas break, and it was my first day of vacation. So we had a pajama day. We just watched movies. I brought in my Happy Memory Planner stuff into the living room, which you can see it out in front of me a little bit there. And we watched movies and he played computer games and it was just fun to spend that extra time with him. It was a great way to start our vacation. And Tuesday and Wednesday at the top, I have a large photo that covers both of those days. And whenever I have a photo that's taken in a horizontal fashion rather than a vertical fashion, I do print it wide so that way it covers two days. I'm not overly particular about the photo being on the exact day that something happened. This did happen on Christmas Eve. It does cover the Tuesday and the Wednesday, so I'm totally fine with that. I added a Christmas Eve die cut to it, so I will remember that that was taken on Christmas Eve. But it's a photo of me with some of my family. We have played Uno the past couple years when we get together on Christmas Eve. And this year, the game went epically long. And when I say epically long, I mean crazy, crazy long. I really never thought it was going to end. And it was fun just to have this photo to remember that memory. And then I just have some embellishing on Tuesday throughout the rest of those columns. Wednesday, I have a photo of my nephew opening a present at my parents' house. I also have a picture of our cat just kind of laying in the mess of the wrapping paper from Christmas morning at our house. Thursday, I have a screenshot of the weather. It was crazy warm that time of, for that time of year in Indiana. 
I also have a larger photo of a game night that we had with my son and my husband and our dog decided to join so he's kind of jumping up and giving me a kiss on the cheek and then I have a photo in Thursday's column at the bottom as well it's of my son taking a nap with a couple of our pets I don't have any photos in Friday's column. Saturday's column, I do have a picture of a popcorn tin. It's something that reminds me very, very much of Christmas. We always had those growing up as well. Sunday's column, I have a photo of my son at my in-law's house. We had Christmas with my mother-in-law this day. And then I introduced my mother-in-law to Snapchat. I make her a calendar every year for Christmas. And I had a couple photos of me and Aiden with Snapchat filters, and she had never heard of Snapchat, so I was showing her how that worked. So it was really funny. I'm so glad that I snapped the picture. It's something that I will definitely cherish for a long, long time. Okay, so now I'm getting to the point where I am trimming down my inserts that I am going to place into this week where I have all of the extra photos that I wanted to include. And I created a few collages and pick monkey and then I put them into Photoshop so that way I could set the canvas size so I would have room to punch the spine so I could include it into the album. If that's something that you're interested in seeing, I'm happy to record a tutorial on how to do that. I think that you could do the whole thing in PicMonkey. I was just worried about the resolution of the photos if I were to try to do it all in PicMonkey. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in seeing. I'm happy to record that process for you. So I am just using one of the pocket pages that you can purchase for the Happy Memory Planner. It already has the punches in the side so you can insert it, but it's a pocket page. So if you wanted, wanted to include pocket page photos or pocket page cards, things like that, you could in your Happy Memory Planner. But I'm just using it to make sure that I am trimming this down to the correct size. Once I have them trimmed down, I'm gonna adhere them together and then I'm gonna use my border punch to punch the little notches in the side so I can include it in my planner. Thankfully, the paper was pretty forgiving because it took me a few tries to get this <laughs> lined up correctly. But these photos are all Snapchat filter photos. The front page is of me and my nephew. He loves to see the Snapchat filters. And I did a little bit of journaling on the bottom of the that spread. And then the next page is actually of me and my brother-in-law. He does not like getting his picture taken. He usually blocks the camera or something like that when we're trying to snap his photo. But he actually <laughs> fell asleep at my parents' house and I just kind of crept up beside him and turned my phone on and snapped a bunch, bunch of pictures of the two of us with the Snapchat filters on. So it was hilarious. You can get a little bit of a glimpse here. He's asleep in all of those photos. So I find it to be quite humorous. And then I also have a spread here of me and my sister and then me and my son with some Snapchat filters as well. So it was just a fun way to include some funny, cute little pictures. So I decided that I was going to use a piece of, I think it's called filler paper. I don't know all of the terminology <laughs> for the Happy Memory Planner products, but I'm pretty sure this is called filler paper. And it came with the album when I purchased my Happy, when I say album, I mean my Happy Planner. It came as a kit. So the colors match my planner really well. And I'm just using that to back this last collage. And that's where I'm gonna include all of my journaling for this week. So I'm gonna go through day by day and add what happened each day of the week. Now I know when I recorded my How I Happy Memory Plan chit chat video, I talked about these punches, both this punch that I'm using here and the weekly punch. And I mentioned that I didn't think that they were necessary and they really aren't necessary, but I found that I was using them quite a bit in the month of December. I think it was because it was a very busy month and I had a lot going on where I needed to include inserts for extra photos and things like that. So I still think that you should, if you're deciding on whether or not this type of memory keeping is for you, I would not invest in them right away. It's always something that you can purchase later on if you decide that it's something that you need or that you want. But for me, I have been happy memory planning for six months and I've used them very, very sparingly, but I am glad that I have them. So just kind of play it by ear and see what you think will work best for you. So now I am going through my, I guess you could call it almost a journal where I just 
jot down a few things that happen throughout the day. It's just another planner. It's just one of the cheap planners that I purchased from Walmart just to keep track of my design team responsibilities and duties. But I use that to go back through and document what happened each week, especially since I am usually working a month behind in my happy memory planner. So I went through, wrote down everything, and just added those inserts into my planner. So here you can see the still shots of this spread. I'm really happy with it, how it came together. I'm loving these colors to use for Christmas, kind of a non-traditional color scheme. And here is a picture of what it looks like with the inserts in the album. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back again soon with a new process video. I have printed my photos for January, so I'm ready to start documenting my month of January. And I'm hoping to also record a flip through of this album very, very soon. And I keep calling it an album. I know it's really a planner, but I will flip through the past six months and I'm excited to share that with you all. So I hope you all have a great week. Thanks for watching.